was Gucci guy. Yeah, we yeah, 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 we got it right. That was Gucci. This is Contest Lady, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So you already know it's your girl Countess Lady and we back. We back. back. Gang, 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 gang. You ask me where I got my hair, hair hub. Period. 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 So yeah, this is um the 24 inch with the frontal dyed. I dyed the front and I apparently it's called a birthmark or something, but <laughs> yeah. And by this title, you already know what is gonna happen. There's another banging video. Yeah, <laughs> it's another banging video and it's about assumptions and y'all ask I, I put on YOLO XFM and Instagram Instagram the confident ones were able to ask me so big up but the rest that are <laughs> pussy <laughs> you couldn't ask me so yeah why did it take me a long time to drop this video because a lot of things have been going on I always said look things have been going on I've not really been like happy in the right mindset to actually record a video but now i'm backing up better and risking period <laughs> so i'm actually going to address some assumptions and let's see how it's going good. so the first assumption is <laughs> do you really have a son i did have a son and it, it's not been easy I was hiding my son from the world. I was hiding my world from the son. <laughs> Yo, okay, the boy seriously. I was hiding the world from the world. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I did. But the sad thing about it is that He actually passed away and it has not been easy for me so yeah may so rest in peace yeah assumption number two okay someone said you have rich parents or grandparents something like that i mean something like that so yeah so another assumption was you bully the juniors in gis How did I bully anyone in GIS? Like, I actually never bullied anyone. I was the entertainment prefect of GIS. So when we have, when we have to do an event, I'm just stressed. I want everything to come out because I was like, I was a new girl that became the entertainment prefect. So I wanted to get things right to this day. I want to get things right to this day. To this day. So yeah, literally that's what happened. So it's like during the uh, trying to rehearse and everything, I'm just a little bit, just a little bit. But apart from that, oh, I could never bully anybody. Never, never. Anyways, another one was that, is it true your ex is David? Who is David? Who is David? <laughs> Who is David? I've never even heard that name. I've never even had, I've never even got myself involved with anyone called David. Like, another assumption was, I heard from a bunch of people that you act fake. The way you act in person, person is totally different from the way we see you on social media wow and i, ooh. And I ooh. <laughs> wow that's serious um i'm fake really which part of me <laughs> i'm just fucking around with you but i'm fake like how do you know even on social media i'm even more friendly because in person, trust me, I don't go out on my way to talk to you. If you don't talk to me, I ain't talking to you, honey. <laughs> so, I'm actually not fake. I'm actually just me. I heard another one, another assumption was, I heard you used to be a stripper. Ew. Stripper? 
in this gamma like are you normal are you normal <laughs> are you normal are you normal are you normal like <laughs> I can't even stop now. I could have more serious to it. There's, there's no way I could have been. Which, what what us? I didn't even have what us to even shake, to even get my mind. I'll go there and will suck me. <laughs> Another assumption was, I heard you're really rude and you don't like talking to people and I'm just saying, ah, really? I'm actually not even rude. I think, you know, no, I'm actually, no, on a more serious note, I'm actually not rude. I'm actually a very friendly person. If you get to know me, I'm those kind of people that I will never go out of my way to talk to somebody. If you don't talk to me, I want to talk to you. But if you come and talk to me, we're going to vibe. Like, we're going to have a vibe. Another assumption was, I heard your hope. Do you know why I realized in Ghana? In Ghana, everybody is a hope. Every indiv like you can't even touch a guy's eyelashes here. Who you can like? I don't even get it. What have I done? What have I done to these dentists? Eh? Like I don't even know what you guys are even talking about. But anyways, someone as uh, assumption was, why did you steal this title from my mom? She did it first. Your copycat. Who is my mom? In the first place? Like I actually have no idea my mind so someone has an assumption that your ex is gay <laughs> i don't know about okay no let me be let me be real my ex or right, none of my exes what you could you do you wait you want you okay someone said apps you mm, in a club bathroom that thing was just a whole scandal from a bitter ex that just wanted to come and just destroy my life and bring out things about me, knowing very well it's not true, period. It's not true. So that's not true, even the slightest. Maybe one day when I'm older and bolder, I'm going to do a whole story about it when I'm actually living on my own. I can do a whole story about it and explain to the you know, what I actually have. <laughs> Charlie, can I really take myself seriously? <laughs> Someone said, so are you asking, I don't know whether this is a question or this is an assumption, but someone said, how long did you and Scanty date for? Mm. <laughs> you want the tea? <laughs> okay. Scanty and I were together for roughly a year and a half. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Someone said, I heard you are friendly to people that are rich or, or on the same status as you. To be honest, like... Oh, well, it is life. Have money or you go so far. I, I, I roll with everybody. No matter your class, your status, I roll with everybody. But as I told you, like... If you don't talk to me, I'll not talk to you. Well, maybe, fortunately, maybe the people around me. <laughs> hey, Charlie, I'm weird. Anyways, yeah, the people around me have any, but it's not everyone around. Do you, it's like we're just okay. Even me, I'm okay. I'm, I'm an okay girl. So, yeah, I heard that, as I'm sure, I heard you have a tattoo. Yes, boo. Yes, I do. And that tattoo was actually during the times that I was really, 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 really down. So, you know, like when you're down, you just want to do something excited. And that was my exciting. <laughs> so, yeah, I had, I got it. And on it, it's Philippians 413. I can do all things. 14. Yeah, 413. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, yeah, that's it. Someone said, apparently... When you went in school, you used to have three stumps in your house. Yes, who crystal? Oh, my choice. Jesus. <laughs> Is this a joke? Hey, die, die, die. In whose house? Pastor's house? I beg. Go. Analyze yourself 
and come back again. So anyways, I, I'm sure I've addressed some assumptions. So, so, see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. So that's Shigadali, Lady Dazzy. Whoa. Whoa. Bye.